Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of Eve University, and this is a video on bookmarks. It's been a long while since I did a video about bookmarks, and some things have changed since then. For reference, today is Monday, October the 12th, 2015. We are running bill, EVE Online build 969345. So bookmarks, also known as saved locations, are basically a record of I was here at their simplest concept. Uh, normally when you try to use your warp drive to travel from one point to another point in the same solar system, you need to tell your warp drive where to go. You, uh, this is not Elite Dangerous. You cannot just go to warp in any old direction that you like. You must specify a destination. And largely, uh, when trying to... Uh, the destinations that you can warp to... Let me bring up the solar system map. You can warp to celestial objects, like the local star, planets, moons, stations, stargates, uh, any other sorts of beacons that might be out there. Uh, you can warp to fleet mates. Uh, if you're already on grid with the object in question, that is, you can see it on overview, or it could be put on your overview, like add sentry gun to overview. You can warp to uh, wrecks. You can warp to uh, the sentry guns around stations and stargates, but only if you're on grid with them, so you're within a few hundred kilometers anyway. Uh, and finally, you can warp to bookmarks. The bookmarks are the old name for these things. Nowadays, the, uh, the game client calls them saved locations. But a lot of older players will still refer to them as bookmarks. These are not to be confused with browser bookmarks, and you can access an in-game browser from the Eve menu, accessories, browser. So browser bookmarks are also a thing. I am not talking about browser bookmarks at all in this video, except to mention that you should not get the two confused. So wherever I say bookmarks in this video, I'm talking specifically about saved locations. So there are a number of ways that you can create a saved location. Uh, you could uh, right-click certain kinds of... You can right-click certain kinds of objects and save it as a location. Like, for example, a station or um, a wreck uh, or an acceleration gate or something. Or you can lo uh, save your current position as a location. Um, one way you can do that is you open up People and Places, the Places tab, and at the bottom you have the Add Location button. So you can click on that and it will tell you, it will give you a default name the way you can title it or you can type in your own name, I was here, click submit, and that records the location. And you can warp back to that bookmark. That's what I'm referring to as a bookmark. Uh, and you can warp back to that point at any time. So for example, let me warp to that sentry gun. Do, 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 do. So I've warped away from wherever I was previously, and there's my bookmark off in the distance labeled I was here, 487 kilometers away. I can right-click that bookmark and warp back to that location. If you're returning to EVE Online from a long absence, yes, you can now see your bookmarks in space. It's awesome. So no more having, so if you accidentally left a bookmark unnamed or with a very generic name that you use for 200 of your uh, of your other bookmarks you can actually take a look at the thing and right click the thing in space and warp to it it's wonderful so you can probably you if you're sharp eye you might have noticed i have a couple of other bookmarks here one for an instant undock bookmark one for a cuddle bookmark i'll explain these in a moment uh, but bookmarks have a wide variety of uses uh, you can use them as locations to try and run and hide uh, for a moment. Remember that I said that you can only warp to celestial objects, fleet mates, and bookmarks, and certain things that are already within a few hundred kilometers, several hundred kilometers of you. Alright, so by default I can't warp to any of these 
any of this random space in between stuff. But I could create additional bookmarks in between. The way I do that is as follows. First of all, I want a key binding for bookmarking my current location. So, escape menu, shortcuts tab. Uh, is it under navigation? Yes, it's under navigation, the navigation subtab, save location. I forget what the default is. It might be control B. Uh, I changed the shortcut to be apostrophe, since that's right next to the return key. That's very convenient for me. But that's not the default binding. Uh, so, I can do something like this. I can right-click Roden Shipyards Manufacturing Center. I'll warp to that to within 70 kilometers. Tap apost... There we go. Tap apostrophe, click Submit, and there's my new bookmark. If you're in motion, it's worth noting that the bookmark is not created until the moment you actually click the Submit button. So when I tap to post uh, my key binding is completely irrelevant. So I right click this moon, I warp to within zero, click once on the background, tap apostrophe, wait, 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 and now. So I click submit and that's where the bookmark appeared. I was over at the Roden Shipyards Manufacturing Center when I tapped my key binding. But I was here when I actually clicked the submit button. So remember, it's the submit button that actually governs when the bookmark is created. Um, a word of warning about, uh, you, you don't wanna rely on bookmarks that were just created between two celestials most of the time. Uh, the reason being, the game engine discretizes your position every second. So one second you're he so one second you're here, the next 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 second you're here, and you do not actually exist at any of the points in between. And you can only bookmark the points uh, that you actually exist in. So if it took you 25 seconds to warp from point A to point B, then you only actually existed in 24 points in between the two. So there's only 24 locations that you could have possibly bookmarked while you were on warp from point A to point B. Anybody who's going from point A to point B, the same point A and point B as you, and who's got the same warp speed as you, could bookmark exactly the same locations as you. So while they're on warp from one point to another, and you're hiding at one of those points, they'll see you blip up on overview and then vanish from overview a second later. So it's kind of easy for somebody to find you, so you don't... I, I call these mid-warp bookmarks. So you don't want to rely on mid-warp bookmarks between common celestials, especially stargates and stations, for hiding spots. So I'm going to edit this location, call it a mid-warp, edit this, right-click, edit this location, call that a mid-warp. What I can do, however, is warp, go from one mid-warp to another. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's pretty bad because that's pretty close to one of the mid warps. It's not. It's not exactly the same spot, so it might be good for a safe spot. Not what I intended to do. Let me try this a little bit better. Right. Remember when I said that if it takes you 25 seconds to do a warp, you only exist at 24 of the points in between? I'm in a Kovops frigate right now. I've got a warp speed of 8 astronomical units per second. So generally for, uh, for more precise bookmarking, a ship like this is not a good choice. I should probably have instead tried to use a Tech 1 frigate or a cruiser or something. 
that that would have made it a little, little bit easier because the more seconds it takes for me to do a warp, the more points in between that I exist through. So it would be easier for me to get uh, points in this span. This is only eight astronomical units apart. And I'm in an eight astro per second ship. So most of the points that I could possibly bookmark are going to be concentrated around the start of the warp and the end of the warp. That's going to be true for any ship that I use, but it's especially true for high warp speed ships. So, Tech 1 frigates and faster. But normally, I would try to bookmark a point in between here for a proper safe spot. Well, you know what? I could probably just warp towards the Stargate. That should be a larger span. There we go. That's much more nicely separated from everything else. Alright, so this spot right here, let me warp back to it and edit location. I will actually call this a safe spot. And this is a location in space that is reasonably far from anything else. I, it, it's not great. I'm still within seven astronomical units of Scalooser. Preferably, I would want to be at least 14 and a half astros away from anything, but I suppose it's better than nothing. The reason I say 14 and a half it has to do with something called the directional scanner. Uh, people can use... Uh, the uh, every ship, including capsules, have directional scanners, and players can use directional scanners to spot uh, other player vessels. And the maximum range on this thing is about 14.3 astronomical units. Uh, I do not want to... Uh, I'm not going to go into... This is not a video about directional scanner. I have, I have a separate video for that. But just be aware that for a really good... For a, a better safe spot... You want to be at least 14 and a half astronomical units away from anything. Some solar systems are not that big. So if I turn on the tactical overlay, control D, uh, the Elantine solar system is really only about maybe 40 astronomical units wide at the most separated, and that's between um, Elantine 7 and Roden Shipyard's Manufacturing Center. So it's not a whole lot of space to play with if you're trying to get outside directional scan or range or anything. But that's how you create a safe spot. Uh, and that's one of the common uses for, uh, for bookmarks. Keep in mind, people can, if you're not cloaked, hostile players can still find you using combat probes. So you can't stay here forever. It might buy you another minute. Or maybe a half minute if they've got a really good probe guy. So you can't stay here for very long if they're hunting you down with probes. If the hostile players in question don't have probes for some strange reason, then they cannot find you at this safe spot. They might be able to detect you on directional scanner, but they cannot warp to you from a directional scanner result. They need combat probes to find you at a safe spot. Most likely anybody who's going to try to hunt you down is bringing combat probes. So like I said, you can't stay here very long. You, you, ha you have to keep moving, uh, but it gives you a little bit more time to think to try and figure out what to do. Other common uses for uh, bookmarks. Since I'm talking about probes, it is also um, cosmic signatures for exploration have to be found using probes, core probes or combat probes. So you probably might want to use one ship to do your probe scanning work, and you can... Uh, I chose a bad solar system, there's nothing to scan here. <laughs> oh yeah, <clears throat> that's another change uh, for those of you who haven't been to EVE Online in a while. You can just Jump into a solar system, open your probe scanner window, and it will immediately tell you of any cosmic anomalies or cosmic signatures that exist. You still need to find cosmic signatures using probes, 
but at least you can tell right away, yes, there are cosmic signatures, or in my case, no, there are not. But when you find a cosmic signature, you can right-click the cosmic signature right here in the probe window, and it would be in this space. You can right-click it and save location. Cosmic anomalies, of course, you don't need probes. You can just right-click the cosmic anomaly and save location. You detect cosmic anom anomalies right away just by being in the same solar system. Most notably, wormhole connections are cosmic signatures. So you will want to bookmark any wormhole connections that you're going to use so you don't have to scan it down all over again just to jump back out of the solar system. Other common uses for bookmarks, uh, whenever you warp to a station at zero, so, for example, warp to LNT-7 Moon 1, Astral Mining. Typically, whenever you warp to a station at zero, you wind up at a point somewhere within two and a half kilometers of the docking perimeter. The, the, or the, what I call the zero sphere. The sphere at which you are considered to be zero meters away from the station. So, in my case, I dropped out of warp 1.7 kilometers away. I need to be within 250 meters in order to dock. By the way, uh, for those of you aspiring to be Covops pilots, please note that what I just did is bad covert operations practice. Warping, warping to something, something that gets me decloaked, generally pretty bad Covops practice. Don't do what I just did. But I needed to talk about warping to a station. So typically you'll drop out of warp either as far as two and a half kilometers away or as far as two and a half kilometers inside the zero sphere. It's kind of, it's random. Uh, so you might be too far away to dock at the station. And if somebody's sitting right there waiting to kill you, you're gonna die. Case, in, uh, by the way, again, this goes back to the point of that was bad covert ops practice. <laughs> Because I just decloaked myself. Uh, if war targets had been sitting right there, they could have webified me and killed me right on the spot. And I would not have been able to go fast enough to cover that last kilometer and a half to dock up again. So that's where bookmarks come in, uh, also come in handy. I have what I call a cuddle bookmark for a station. And this is just simply a spot in space that I saved while I was flying around right next to the station surface. Right next to the walls of the station, or kind of close at any rate. So I warped to my bookmark rather than to the station itself. And I'm immediately within zero meters. And I can dock up instantly, every single time, guaranteed. Because then I drop out of warp two and a half kilometers off my bookmark, rather than two and a half kilometers off the docking perimeter. I also have what I what's called an instant undock bookmark, which is a bookmark that's located in front of the station. I'm already aligned with that bookmark, so I can just warp to location and zoom, off I go into warp. I did not have to spend any extra time aligning to warp. So you will want to have... Some players call that bookmark over there an instant dock, and this bookmark over here an instant undock. I don't like how similar those terms sound, so this I'll call an instant undock or an insta undock, and that I'll call a cuddle bookmark. And I borrow the term cuddle from dancing, where certain dance moves have a cuddle position uh, with the two partners. So that's a cuddle bookmark, I'm cuddling the station. Right? And this is an instant undock bookmark. At least that's the terminology that I personally use. Um, so yeah, those are just a few examples of the different possible uses of bookmarks creating safe spots. Uh, whenever you run a mission, 
that mission appears in a random point in space. Assuming that's an encounter of some sort, and it's not just haul from station A to station B. So, a mission encounter will be at a random spot in space. You should always make it a point to tap your key binding and type in save spot, because that's a completely... and click submit, because that'll be a completely random point in space when you do that mission. Uh, if you're going to run a mission and turn in the mission and then come back and salvage the wrecks, uh, you won't have the bookmark available anymore from the agent, because as far as the agent is concerned, you're done. Additionally, the mission infrastructure, like all the acceleration gates, will also vanish. The wrecks will still be there, but you, won't, uh, but you need a bookmark for the wrecks in order to get back to them easily. So for every room of the mission that's separated by acceleration gates, you want to bookmark one wreck in each room, that way you can warp, uh, warp back to your bookmarks for the wrecks and start salvaging and looting all the various wrecks. Or you can give your bookmarks to somebody else. Oh, right! You can, give, you can share bookmarks with other players. That's something I forgot to mention. Uh, so you can open up your cargo hold. You can open up people and places. And you can do things like click and drag from people and places into the cargo hold. You cannot do that while cloaked, which is a really odd design decision. So if I want to do this in space, I've got to decloak. Kind of risky. I would want to be at a safe spot if I had to do that. So let me actually do that. Let me warp to my safe spot. Twiddle my thumbs. I can do this in warp. So I left click one bookmark, shift left click the other bookmark. Uh, I have to hold down the shift key and then click and drag to my cargo hold. Now I can cloak up again. Double left click in space so that I'm moving. Moving targets harder to find the stationary targets. Marginally. So now I have a bunch of items that represent bookmarks. Again, I did a shift click and drag. If I don't use the shift key and I drag this over, that well cloaked. If I don't use the shift key and I drag this over, the bookmark disappears from people and places. Cloak back up again. So that's why you want to hold down the shift key. You want to copy the bookmark. If you don't hold down shift, you're getting rid of your own copy. Keep that in mind. Uh, if you have so you can hand these bookmark items off to another player. Either you can jettison it from your cargo hold, or you can trade it to another player in station, or if they're in your station item hanger, you can create an item exchange contract. Any method by which you could give another player a piece of ammunition, other than the market. You cannot sell bookmarks on the market. But any other method by which you would give, say, a piece of ammunition to another player, you can also use that same method to give them a bookmark. So jettisoning it, uh, face trading, uh, trading in station, or item exchange contract. Once they have that bookmark, they can drag that bookmark into people and places, drag it over personal locations, and it appears right here uh, in their people and places window. Right. That's the classical method of sharing bookmarks. Uh, it, it is also possible um, to share bookmarks of your corporation. As a matter of fact, when I hit my key binding, I need to left click in the background, then hit my key binding. When I'm asked to create a bookmark, I'm also asked which folder I want to put the bookmark in. So I can put it in just my main personal locations pile, or I can put it in one of my folders in personal locations, or I can save it as a corporate location, or in one of the folders in corporate locations. And yes, this is another change. Corporations can now have bookmarks. Anybody uh, can create a corporate bookmark. Uh, only 
players with specific corporate roles can delete book corporate bookmarks created by others. But anybody in the corporation can create a corporate bookmark. It takes a, a few it might take a few minutes for that corporate bookmark to actually propagate to the rest of the corporation. So it might take a few minutes for if I create if I save this spot as a corporate location, it might take a few minutes before other members of Eve University can actually see that bookmark and warp to it themselves. But eventually it will update, given a few minutes at most. Sometimes it's quicker than that. Oh, I forgot to mention these uh, uh, these eyeball buttons. Uh, these can uh, control whether or not you can actually see bookmarks in space in that folder. So remember when I said that you can see those bookmarks in space as thumbtack icons? Uh, you can hide those again by clicking on these icons. All right. uh, but only if they're organized into folders. So you can save bookmarks into any of your folders in personal locations or into corporate locations. And if it's in corporate locations, uh, other members of your corporation can use them. It's also possible to do things like drag bookmarks back and forth. So I can drag this corporate location up to my personal locations, and that copies the bookmark. It's, uh, I don't have to use the shift key in this case. So shift, uh, so clicking and dragging from here up to here will copy the bookmark rather than delete the corporation's copy of it. So I don't have to worry about the shift key in that case. I could also left click and drag uh, my bookmark, my bookmarks from my personal locations to corporate locations or to any of the folders in corporate locations. Uh, there has there is a new limitation on bookmarks that was introduced about a three years ago I think uh, probably around three years ago if you have thirteen thousand or more personal locations you cannot create any new personal locations and you cannot copy them from corporate locations until you get rid of some of them so if you're above thirteen thousand personal bookmarks, you cannot do things like bookmark the wormhole that you just jumped through. Unless you bookmark it as, say, a corporate location, but that requires you to be in a player corporation. You can still import bookmark vouchers into personal locations. So if I do, th uh, so if I do this, I can do that to uh, go above the 13,000 limit. So you could, for example, have character alt characters that just serve as bookmark mules for backup copies of your bookmarks, if you wanted to do that. But as long as you're above 13,000 personal locations of your own, you cannot bookmark wormholes that you jumped through, you cannot bookmark your mission locations, so on and so forth. Uh, I believe... Oh, right, one other thing. So I accessed my bookmarks by right-clicking in space. When you right-click in space, personal and corporate locations are shown to you, but only the ones that are in your solar system. That way, if you need to get to your bookmarks at least semi-quickly, you can just right-click in space. They're all right there. If you have them organized into folders... Hold on, that's not what I meant to do... So if you have them organized into folders, uh, like say, let me create the class session folder. So you have your bookmarks organized into folders, like that. When you right click, class session, each folder will show up and then followed by bookmarks that are not in folders. So here I have the class session folder and then I have a whole bunch of other bookmarks. Uh, you've probably noticed this from pausing the video and looking at my folders, but I have a whole bunch of different kinds of folders. I have folders for control tower bookmarks, cuddle bookmarks, so-called deep safe bookmarks, 
far bounce bookmarks, uh, undocked bookmarks, so on and so forth. All right. So you, what I would recommend is creating folders according to purpose. What is this bookmark for? Right. Is this a tactical bookmark around? Is, is this a, a kind of tactical bookmark, or is this for docking, or is this for instant undocking? What are you using this bookmark for? And then when you right-click an empty space, it'll automatically filter out any bookmarks that are not in your current solar system. So you don't have to pour through thousands of your bookmarks in this right-click menu if you've only got 10 bookmarks in the solar system. I believe I've covered all of the important points. Uh, so I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, thank you for watching.